Hindsight is 2020. Sharon Hornell Smear trying to figure out how I could represent hindsight. Hindsight is seeing things behind us, things that have happened before and acting as if we known how we should have behaved in those situations when we actually did something different. Now, this is actually one of my very favorite sayings. The origin is sort of fuzzy and unknown. I think it might be from the late 1800s, about 1862 to the mid 1900s when vision and vision testing, you know, when you'd go and you'd flip through the machine that had all the different uh, lenses in it to see if you needed glasses or not. And they'd test your eyes and dilate your eyes and all those crazy things. I've had decades of eye challenges and eye problems. So I've pretty much had it all done to my eyes before. But hindsight to me is all about the lessons that we learned from the experiences that we had. Now, last year, the year of 2020, the year of perfect vision by ophthalmologist standards of what is good, perfect vision was absolute chaos and craziness, at least for the vast majority of people on the planet, right? A lot of us were disrupted in our lifestyles, disrupted in our business, disrupted in our families, disrupted in our freedoms, disrupted in what we, we did and were able or allowed to do. Uh, with respect to many, many areas, almost all the areas and aspects of our life last year. And so hindsight to me is, you know, thinking, well, I probably should have had a contingency plan in place to handle that for my life and for my business and for my job or my career, or whatever uh, impacted me in ways that I hadn't necessarily planned on. Well, hindsight saying, yeah, I should have had a plan. But to me, hindsight is really Learn, I guess that to me is more retrospect and foresight. I should have had the foresight to plan for this is second guessing what we actually did and how we actually weathered the, the storms and the changes and the challenges that we have in our lives. But to me, hindsight is, okay, this happened. This experience happened. I might like it. I might not like it. Chances are I'm, I'm learning and, and questioning my hindsight about situations that I don't like more often than situations I do like. If something goes well we, and we have success, we tend to just celebrate and party about it. If we struggle or have a challenge with something, we have to put on our big boy hats and our big girl hats and we have to find a solution and figure it out, especially as business owners or leaders in our families or other organizations or in, in just our own lives. And so uh, if we don't learn the lessons from the experiences that we've had, I I personally find that I'm destined to repeat them. If I find myself in a situation and I get through it, I survive it, but I just forget about it and I don't learn the lesson from that, I know that in the not too distant future, I'm gonna be experiencing a different change or challenge, different yet similar with at least the same lesson until I figure that out. I learn that lesson and I uh, make changes in my behavior or my thoughts or my beliefs or my patterns or my actions to get a different result so that that and learn that lesson. So I quit having examples of that show up in my life. I've seen it in my relationships. I've seen it in my businesses. I've seen it in uh, whether in my communication, in my interaction with other people. I've seen it in, in my health. I've definitely seen it in my health, seen it in my mental and my emotional uh, areas of my life as well. If I uh, didn't deal with my I don't want to use that as an example. If I didn't deal with a disappointment that I've had in my past life, say, because I've lost jobs, say I've gotten, I've gotten fired, big, big, the big F word, gotten fired in my past. And I remember the first time I was laid off from a business, I wasn't even fired, I was laid off. I was devastated. I took it so personally. Well, in a corporate career, as long as mine was, you're bound to have situations where either you want to leave or they want you out of there. And I found myself in a couple of those. Well, the first time it hurt really bad, right? I was like second guessing and blaming myself and saying, what the heck's wrong with me that they wouldn't keep me, that they kept these other people. And the emotions were all tied into it. But then the second time it happened, it, it didn't really bother me that much. I took a much more rational approach to it. And I looked at it from all different aspects and perspectives. And I'm like, okay, I see why I am the one that's going to be out of this company, which is all good for me because I want to go on to do different things anyway. And by the time I got laid off the third time, I actually thanked my boss for the opportunity and the experience to work there because it was a great, it was my last corporate job. And it actually gave me the freedom to just say, I don't need corporate America anymore as my backup. Because to me, corporate America was always my backup. I always had businesses on the side that I was running and building and growing. And 
it made my experience at corporate different than a lot of people's because I didn't have that desperate, I got to have this job feeling much of the time, at least by the time I decided to leave my corporate career. So how do we apply this? How do we use this in our businesses? What is the most important thing about hindsight that we want to remember we want to do? We want to remember to learn the lesson. We want to, when things happen, when we have experiences, good or bad, because we can learn a lot from our good experiences as well as what to keep doing more of, but from our bad experiences, from those challenges, from those changes that really throw us for a loop, we want to make sure we're looking at them from different perspectives and seeing and taking with us the lesson and the thing that we can learn from there. Because in every situation we face, there are blessings, blessings, there's blessings and lessons. There are blessings and lessons that we can take from those situations. Love to know your experience with this. Again, hindsight's twenty twenty. I say this one a lot as I'm unwinding and unpacking situations that I've been involved with and with uh, people that I work with as well. Because there's a lot, we don't want to repeat the past. We definitely don't want to repeat it most of the time, but we do want to make sure that we're learning from it. So that is it. Go out, have an amazing day. I'm going to hang out with my granddaughter today and have a fun family day. I wish you the same. I wish you terrific foresight as well as hindsight with the rest of your life and the rest of your business. Have a great day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow. Another interesting idiom. We're focusing on Proverbs for the first 100 days of 2021. And then we'll move into something different. Uh, if you've got a proverb or an idiom that you would like me to check out and find out the origin of and how we could apply it to our business and our life, let me know that as well. Otherwise, have an amazing day. Bye. Catch you tomorrow.